always put the fat joke for me into the heavy hitters. You're going to have to respond at some point to that. Peter Cadges of the Boston Phoenix, a man who has yet to be invited to Duvall's picnic over the weekend. Cosmo Macero of an Eagle Associate, man who has not seen Batman yet. The old Cosmo would have seen it on opening day. Two kids, no movies. That's right. Get out of the house. <laughs> Gene says no to space chimps in case baby Cos is pushing it. Uh, space chimps? That's what he saw. I don't know. I just, I just passed on the movie recommendation. Trust me, fellas, both of you go see that, I'm still trying to catch up with Fantastic. Kung Fu Panda. So. <laughs> Men and Twin Driving. That's where you want to see that one. Let's uh, start politics, gentlemen. Let's start with Barack Obama. Peter, latest polls got him anywhere between 6 to 10 points up. The big ones got him. Gallup's got him 9 points ahead of McCain. He seemed to get ripped awfully by a lot of people for going to Europe and for these photo ops. But he got a pretty good bounce out of this. He got a good bounce, but um, I'm not sure it's going to last. Um, I would say, uh, to paraphrase the Wizard of Oz, pay no attention to these polls until after Labor Day. There's an interesting phenomenon out there. As you know that last week, Barack Obama is, is by far ahead in terms of network news mentions. But there was a study that came out yesterday that, that shows 72% of the mentions about Obama are negative. Um, he might be up in the polls, but I think that might be just due to the mansions. I think if people pay attention, his numbers won't be so strong. The important thing is McCain's really never broken 50%, and that's trouble. Well, bad press is better than no press, Cosmo, which is what McCain's getting. Has he done anything in the last month or couple of weeks that you've said... He's on to something. Yeah, good point, Phoebe. You know, first rule of public relations, give me something to care about or, uh, you know, a, a, give me a compelling story or for anyone to care about. And McCain's really not doing that. And, you know, Obama, he's sustaining that cult of personality. He's sustaining the intrigue and the, dra- and the, and the drama around uh, his historic candidacy uh, right through uh, so far uh, toward the, the general election campaign. McCain's just not really doing anything to capture the imagination or the interest of the American people. So he's not going to get any press mentions compared to what Obama's doing, whether it's in Germany or elsewhere. Uh, which one, uh, off, the, uh, off topic here, but which one is it more important who his vice president is, McCain or Obama? I think, to, I think Jim McCain is very important because I think he has the opportunity to really zero in on uh, the economic story here, which is really roiling the country. And if he picks, the, if he picks right, uh, that'll be really important. You know, I, I think the vice president is overstated for both of them. Um, it, it, it matters in terms of the equation. Who will help them carry the candidate's home state? Cad just wins on that one, Cosmo. I give him the point, although you brown-nosed me with a good point, VB. Cosmo wins that round. I I changed my mind. Uh, Let's talk about this fun story in the Boston Globe today, because this is very troubling. We're all talking about how the economy is hurting us. We now find out that MIFA, the Mass Education Financing Authority, has no money. they got no money, and 40,000 kids that are looking for loans to go to college have been told, look elsewhere. Number one, where is elsewhere, Cosmo? Number two, how big a scandal is this? Elsewhere is getting harder and harder. You know, all of the pillars of uh, uh, the financial uh, picture for for the middle class today are falling like bowling pins. Your mortgage, your auto loan, now uh, financing for education. It's becoming so difficult to obtain financing for anything. The credit markets are in such disarray that banks just just don't have the money, don't have the backing to make make loans. Uh, This is a huge problem. And there's really not a lot of options uh, other than looking privately to your, your neighborhood bank, going directly to your institution, your, your, your college, for help uh, with financing. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a real problem. Duvall's 52nd birthday on Thursday, Peter, so I vowed that I wouldn't rip him or speak negatively of him. However... You can't help yourself. I can't help myself because, remember, he's the guy that said in his education plan, the way to shake up education, I want free college for everybody in Massachusetts. And everybody said, well, how are you going to pay for it? Don't worry about it. Well, now we find out MIFA doesn't even have any money to pay for the kids that are currently going to college. Is this a signal? Is this something that no one could have expected? Is this the tip of the iceberg? What do we make of all of it? Uh, The simple answer is I don't know. I suspect it's the tip of the iceberg. Whether anyone could see it coming or not, I suppose you could say you, you, you could see it coming maybe six months ago. But like with, um, uh, like with many things, you sort of keep your fingers crossed, hope against hope, that you, you know, the iceberg won't crash into uh, the line. There. Look, this is p- part of a number of wake-up calls that this state and this country are getting. I mean, our financial infrastructure at home is a wreck. And, and not to add bad news on top of bad, but if you look at banks and, and if some of these families are looking to their to their bank to help out here, you know, all the major banks are saying, well, we have this much, much exposure to bad loans, 
we, we think we're we think it's coming to an end, but we don't know. They can't guarantee that there's not going to be another huge hit L- listen, from bad loans. People wanted legalized gambling to come to Massachusetts. Well, it's been nationwide, and the people doing the gambling has been the, have been the banks gambling on bad mortgages. And they rolled snake eyes, unfortunately. Uh, and if they're looking for a federal bailout, Cosmo, like with the mortgage situation. $486 trillion or billion dollar deficit, we just find out, big as it's ever been. Yep. There's no money there. Yeah. We're a nation of, debtor, uh, of borrowers, a nation, a nation of debtors, and we've been encouraged to spend our way to a better economy. And when the bill comes due, it, uh, it's a hell of a hangover.